Hi everybody, it's Holly. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so glad you're here. I just did an Amazon swimsuit haul and I've had so many comments from people saying I wish I had your confidence. So today I want to give you my top tips to get your bod out for hot girl summer. Okay, this is a fat girl's guide to wearing swimsuits. Number one, expose yourself to fat people. And I don't mean that in a sort of flasher way. I don't mean like expose yourself literally. What I mean is the first step for me in starting to um, appreciate my own body was actually exposure to other um, fat people, other plus size people. So I was on Instagram or on Instagram, I follow a lot of um, fat uh, fashion people, I follow fat positive people, body positive people, all people who are out there living their lives um, just being fat, you know, just living while fat. I know it seems like it is a bit of a crime these days, um, but people who are just enjoying life and in being exposed to them, in seeing them, it has, you know, given me sort of the courage to pursue that for myself. When you're seeing, you know, when you're seeing these images of other people, it starts to become a bit more normalized for you um, instead of, you know, everything that you're exposed to at the moment is slim people, very slim people and extra slim people. You know, that's what models are. That's what's in magazines. That's the Kardashians. That's Photoshop. That's airbrushing. And to be honest, these people are even, yeah, Photoshop. It's insane. Like, it blows my mind, <laughs> to be honest, how much people use Photoshop and stuff when I'm like, but you're already slim. Why are you Photoshopping yourself to look slimmer? Anyway, that's a different subject, but I highly recommend following people so that you can just get used to seeing that. Um, and once you're seeing people just living their lives, just going about their day to day, wearing shorts, wearing, you know, even, um, I just bought some new sports tops. Last year, I wouldn't get my arms out, to be honest. I've always been self-conscious of this part to be, yeah. So um, this year I'm like, no, screw it. I am gonna get myself new sports tops, which are sleeveless and racer back. I've always been feeling like this cut of bra has always made me feel very self-conscious in my head i feel like it makes your back look really wide and especially you know with my flab hanging out here i've been terrified of it making me look really big and like well <laughs> i was gonna say muscly i don't have any muscles up there but um you know sort of that that's the image i had in my head and i was like you know what i don't want a farmer's tan this year i want to get sort of a nice ready glow to me I mean, I'm not gonna get <laughs> brown, but yeah, I'm gonna get, you know, sort of my noose, this sort of ready look that I sort of go for when I get in the sun. And it's hot. It's hot in California. I wore shorts last year, shorts for the first time. Um, a bikini for last time. Last time, first time last year. This year, sleeveless top. In fact, I went out in this. I went out in this on its own the other day. So a crop top sports bra. It's been my dream. I always see slim people, you know, jogging past in their little sports bras. And I've always looked at them and been like, I wish that was me. I wish I could do that. You know what? Just because you're fat doesn't mean you can't. You can. Go out there, live your life. You know, life is too short. Tip two. So when you're looking at swimwear, I would go on um, YouTube, see what other um, plus size fat people are wearing. There's tons of, you know, plus size swimsuit hauls. See what other people are wearing. Try and see um, if you can find someone with a similar body type to yours. I'm an apple shape. I'm only five foot two. I'm very short. So a lot of the time, the things that I see on the plus size models, you know, in the magazines, in the photos that they show, they always have a flat stomach, you know, big hips, small top. I've got big boobs, big belly, flat bum. Um, you know, I'm just sort of round. So I'm gonna need something different. So 
I suggest that you go on YouTube, see what other people are wearing, see if you like what they're wearing, and that will give you a good idea as well of the coverage, because um, what you might have noticed from my haul last time as well, when I put up the model pics compared to obviously myself, the way the materials hung or, you know, some of them were kind of more like sports bra type bikinis, but by the time they were on me, they were like this. So there was a lot more skin hanging out. Um, so yeah, I suggest look up other people, see what they're wearing and get some ideas of what you think is going to look good on you. Number three, buy things in the correct size. Okay. Buy things maybe in, um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I tend to underestimate how um, big I am. So I will like to buy things in a smaller size, which are obviously not going to fit me as well. But buy things that um, are in the correct size, because that is going to give you the best look for you. If you're wearing things that are too small or feel uncomfortable, you are not going to feel confident in them. In them. Um, and I also want to say, you know, if you have I don't say problem areas, that's not right. If you have areas that you're particularly conscious of, um, so for me for a long time, it was actually like my muff made me feel very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> so I would wear uh, like swimming skirts. I didn't like, and the top of my thighs. Um, if you watch that cringeworthy little TikTok I made where I'm dancing in my swimsuits, it's actually, that's to me like the bravest thing I've done because you can see this, leg area up here and it's you know it's it's looking a bit saggy it's looking a bit loose but it is what it is especially with my age I don't think even if I lose weight it's just going to get worse to be honest um that's an area that I'm particularly conscious of and so I would always wear swimming skirts to kind of cover that area so wear something that's going to make you comfortable and ease into it I mean for goodness sakes you don't have to wear a full-on bikini your very first time you can get tankinis so it, you know it's a it's a bikini top type but it's longer so it's just like a little vest top so wear something that's going to make you feel comfortable it's not going to make you feel super super self-conscious about parts of you that you don't like or you're you know that you're not that you're still working on okay when your swimwear arrives try it on walk around your house wear it around your house get comfortable seeing yourself in that swimming outfit you know in the swimming costume whatever you choose to wear get comfortable walking around your house in it. Because for me, I know, especially in your house, that's your sanctuary, that's the place where you feel safe, or at least I hope it is. So when you can just wear something in your house, no one's judging you, um, it's gonna sort of build up your confidence, get used to looking at yourself in that item of clothing, you know, sort of find something you particularly like about it, what does it do for you, you know, does it make your boobs look nice, does it make your bum look nice, um, is it a nice print on the swimsuit, just really enjoy it and learn to love it, practice at home, I was literally so nervous, the first time I went out to the pool in my bikini, because I was thinking, is everyone staring at me, because yeah, I live in Orange County, everyone is slim around here there really aren't many fatties um so i felt like everyone was staring at me so of course you know i've got my kids in front of me as i run over to the pool you know it's like drop the towel run to the pool with the kids in front of you but once i was in the water i was like okay it's all right you know building up my confidence in the water i was like people can't see me but at the same time i'm just here in my bikini hanging out um, and slowly but surely, you know, you'll kind of build up. If you can go at a time when you're pool or go in your back garden as well, get confidence in your back garden. I'm sure the neighbors will love it, you know? Like, give them an eyeful, give them a show, let them, let them enjoy it as well, you know? It's hot girl summer. But if you can, go at a time where like the pool or beach, you know, go earlier or later to build up your confidence, okay, I'm talking about. If, because, if there's a lot of people, you might feel a bit intimidated. I know definitely I felt more intimidated when there's more people out there. But when I went last year, I was going when there were less people. This year I've been out, you know, with more and more people coming out. And the more you do it, the less self-conscious you feel. Yeah, I mean, I do feel self-conscious still. I do. I'm not 100% confident. I'm not like, wow, ah, look at me. But I'm just getting on with it. I'm just living my life. Um, and taking kind of what I hope are cute Instagram photos. I'm not really very photogenic, but take photos of yourself, post them on Instagram, you know, 
get all your family and friends to like that stuff. Um, and that's a boost of confidence as well. Because we are our own harshest critic. Ugh. Because we are our own harshest critics. And we can be so hard on ourselves. And we don't see what other people see. Other people are not looking for our flaws. They're not looking for your cellulite. They're not looking for your arm rolls. I mean, they can see them, like, let's not be silly. But they don't care, okay? Everyone else, I think, is so wrapped up thinking about themselves. I was talking to my neighbour the other day. And she's like... I would kill to have boobs like yours. I was like, are you kidding me? These saggy old things? She was like, yeah, no, you don't have saggy boobs. My boobs are really saggy. I've never noticed her boobs being saggy, to be honest. So it's like, everyone's so busy thinking about themselves. I kind of lost count of what number we're at, but um, just a tiny little tip. Do something that's also gonna make you feel good about getting your body out. So for me, another thing that I have been conscious of is my luminescent white skin you know it's I feel like I j literally glow um even in photos I'm like overexposed in summer it's like <sighs> so the other day I bought myself some Fenty body something or other I can't remember what it's called skin rub or something it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer it's for your body um it just kind of takes away that white glow so it just sort of you know, gives gives just the subtlest of tan to my otherwise glowing skin. And I think that's also going to help me feel a little bit more confident in summer when I go to the pool. Um, so I'll be wearing that. But, you know, if you want to get a pedicure or something so that you feel good, you know, you've got something nice and pretty on your feet, um, that's going to make you feel good, or a manicure, something like that as well can just help add to your confidence. Um, or maybe you want to get some nice accessories, get yourself a nice pair of sunnies, nice hat, nice sarong. I don't know, I'm not really like a fashion expert, but you know, just do something nice for yourself that's going to give you that little extra bit of confidence when you're out and about in public. And of course, we're taking baby steps, okay? I'm not expecting you to go for like a skimpy little two-piece. I mean, I'm never going to wear a skimpy two-piece. They have really nice high-waisted bottoms as well at the moment. Super in fashion, covers up the belly, looks awesome. I just want everybody who's watching this video to have the confidence to wear something that makes them feel liberated, that makes them feel confident, that makes them feel good about themselves. And I want you all to feel good about your bodies. I know it's really hard. I know because I know what society is like. I know what people are like. But this is what it is about, accepting yourself. You, you might not think your body is where you want it to be. I know my body isn't where I want it to be. But right now, this is the body I have. So, you know, it's not, this is not going anywhere by summer. Um, so I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna enjoy my summer. I'm gonna keep going out there. I'm gonna keep faking it till I make it. And I hope you all do the same. I want you to leave me a comment, letting me know if you're gonna go out, get a bikini. I want you to write that though, write it in a comment for me so that you can hold yourself accountable, okay? You are all strong, beautiful, incredibly worthy and deserving of this okay so i'm sending out all my love all my positive vibes and hopes for you and please i can't wait to see those pictures tag me in them send them you know privately to me i want to see them um and i will shower you back with love okay so i will see you soon thank you so much for watching